or lab program 7 so coming back to the triangle pro uh, problem which i explained uh, in the previous uh, two programs uh, pro uh, lab programs lab exercises the same thing same triangle problem here also we are discussing but uh, in this uh, they have uh, not mentioned uh, one precondition which was there in the other two uh, triangle problems that is uh, the boundary value for the inputs for a b c the three sides of triangle we used to give the boundary value as 1 to 10 but in this uh, we have just removing that condition okay only we have the other three condition that will test whether it can form a triangle or not so the same uh, triangle problem but uh, we don't have the condition boundary value we are not specifying any boundary value for the three sides of triangle any value you can give here and how to derive the test cases so here uh, we will come up with uh, one more uh, testing process that is a decision table approach now let's see how to write the test cases using decision table approach so here is a pro uh, program so you can just look into this uh, and uh, you can uh, go to the uh, lab program one video the same problem or the same program explanation is given in that here you are just not including the you are not setting any boundary while inputting the values or three sides of triangle that is the only difference we have and the experiment number and test data so we are taking uh, the three sides of triangle that is a b and c and the precondition itself you can make out that we have not specified any boundary for the sides of triangle so only these are the three conditions which will uh, which has to be satisfied to form a triangle so the brief discussion it is uh, you are going to find the type of the triangle and here for the test case name here which method you are using that is decision table for the triangle problem now input data decision table now here in the decision table uh, you can see we have two parts that is conditions and actions so what are the different conditions and what are the actions upon these conditions if this is performed if the conditions becomes true or false which action it will perform now for each condition the first condition it is a less than b plus c these are the three precondition c to b less than a plus c and c less than a plus b and c4 that is a condition 4 that is a is equal to b a is equal to c and b is equal to c now these are the preconditions now what are the possible actions so action 1 it is not a triangle or it cannot form a triangle and we have a scalene triangle isosceles triangle equilateral triangle and impossible now what is impossible we will see that later now how to calculate these rule numbers so here we can see there are total six conditions there are total six conditions to so according to the rule it is 2 power 6 why because each condition each condition it has two values that is either true or false okay so for each condition it is 2 and for this condition also it is 2 2 2 2 2 so total it will be 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 so that is around 64 uh, rules it will show but in that 64 rules if you remove all duplicate so here you can see we have a don't cares so don't care in the sense we will not consider it at all so uh, you can say these are the invalid values don't cares we are not going to consider it or it may have a duplicate value so removing all those things we have uh, just 11 rules for the triangle 
problem uh, if you really want to remember you can just do uh, for six conditions 6 into 2 minus 1 that is uh, 6 into 2 minus 2n minus 1 is a formula that is n is for number of conditions that is 6 into 2 that is 12 minus 1 so total 11 rules you'll have now come to the uh, rule number 1 so in the rule number 1 uh, for the first condition if it is false as I told any of these condition will uh, fail it will not form a triangle so if this condition itself failed no need to check for the other condition so you can just tick it is it is not a triangle it can't form a triangle now come to rule 2 there you have uh, uh, the first condition is satisfied that it, it is true but the second condition fails even though second condition fails i told either of these condition fails it cannot form a triangle now in the third rule again the third condition fails so it is again can't form a triangle now once all these conditions are satisfied yes all these conditions are satisfied now come to the next part that is c4 c5 c6 it is not like uh, all these conditions must be satisfied it can satisfy any of this but first three condition that must be satisfied to form a triangle now come to the uh, rule number four in that first three conditions are true okay so we are going to check uh, for the c4 that is again c4 is true c5 is true c6 is true a is equal to b b is equal to c c is equal to a so all the three sides are equal then which action it performs it shows it is equilateral triangle so just put a cross mark on equilateral triangle now come to r5 now in the r5 again three conditions are satisfied c4 it is true so what is c4 it is a is equal to b now a and b is same and c5 it is a is equal to c and they are telling a and c is also equal now come to uh, c6 that is false in the sense in the first two uh, sentences they have told a is equal to b and a is equal to c that is a is equal to b is equal to c okay now c6 it is false c6 it is false in the sense b is not equal to c now, is it possible in the first two, C4 and C5, it is true. That means A is equal to B and B is equal to C. In the first two condition, it is true. All the three sides are equal. But when you come to the C6, they have told it is not equal. Is it possible? You cannot say B is equal to C and B is not equal to C. Both are same. No, it is not possible. So, that's why you have to put a cross mark here similarly here also you have for c4 it is true c5 true a is equal to b and c5 they are telling a is not equal to c a is a is is equal to b and a is not equal to c and b is equal to c so obviously so when a is equal to b is true That indicates that A and B is true. And B is equal to C is true. Again that indicates that A is equal to B is equal to C. And here if you have false means. Obviously it is not possible. So that's why it is again impossible. So similarly you have to try for all this. For simpler uh, just to remember if you get confused. You can go with the uh, go like this that is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So that you can remember and you have to uh, tick for the particular action. So that is for the decision table for triangle problem. Now, how to write the decision table 
test cases use it uh, using decision table how to write the test cases now come to the uh, first test case so how many are conditions we have here so total six conditions we have so for each condition you need to write the test case now what is the first condition in the first condition a is less than b plus c so what you have to do is you must write enter the value of a b and c such that a is not less than sum of two sides a is not less than sum of two sides so you have to write like these three condition should not satisfy uh, or you can say uh, you have to write the test cases such that these three condition should not be true if it is false what message it will display so usually a must be less than b plus c but here what you have to do is such that a is not less than b plus c so you have to give such values and you should display the message now come to the second condition in the second condition what you have to do is your first condition must be true but your second condition should fail it must be false such that you have to write and it should display the message like it can't form a triangle now come to the third test case in the third key test case your first and second condition must be true but your third condition that is c3 must be false so like that input you have to give should and should check for the output next come to fourth condition that is enter the value of a comma b comma c satisfying precondition and a is equal to b is equal to c a is equal to b b is equal to c and c is equal to a now in the fourth condition all the three first three condition that is c1 c2 c3 must be satisfied and you have to check for equilateral triangle you have to give the value such that it should give the output as equilateral triangle similarly since we are checking for the isosceles triangle you have to uh, give all the uh, first three condition must satisfied and it should show the output as it is uh, isosceles triangle and the final one is for the scalene triangle with preconditions satisfied so this is what about your lab program 7 you are writing the decision table and using that decision table you are writing the test cases so this is what about the triangle using decision table approach in the further program we will see for uh, next date and commission problem thank you